As one interviewee put it, employer's branding was 10 years ago. If you haven't figured out your employer's brand by now, you're in trouble. Nowadays, it's all about the candidates and the employee's experience. Several interviewees highlighted the need for employers to treat their applicants, candidates, and employees more like clients and consumers. For private sector employers, this makes a lot of sense because in many cases, applicants and employees are indeed using the products and services of the company. Consequently, these employers are adapting their hiring practices with the understanding that one's decision to join an employer or another has much to do with their experience with both the employer's brand and the corporate brand. Even within the public sector, there's a growing recognition that we must adapt. At the very least, we must shorten our job posters, simplify them, use plain language, and avoid government speak. The very best job posters also make a point of answering four questions of applicants. What will I be doing? Who will I be doing it with? Who will be my manager? And what will be the impact of my work? Simply making a job poster accessible on a mobile device is not nearly enough in a day and age where applicants' personal computer is now their smartphone. So how do you design a job poster for smartphones? Here are three ideas to start. First, keep in mind that applicants must be able to scroll quickly through the entire job poster. So 20 pages job description don't make sense anymore. Second, there must be a call to action on every page. And third, you must make it easy for users to share content on social media. The convergence of digital transformation and the new expectations of applicants and employees forces organizations to redesign their business processes. Can you think of what else public sector organizations could do to treat their applicants, candidates, and employees more like clients and consumers? Please share on GC Collab.